So this is the cart and the launcher setup for demonstrating the independence of the horizontal and vertical motion. This is the ball. And this is the coin used to trigger the launch manually. And here's the cart and the launcher itself. So let's see how this works. After putting the ball in, first we are going to trigger the launch manually using the coin while the cart is at rest. And the ball goes back into the launcher. Now we are going to trigger the launch while the cart is moving using the little metal piece mounted on the pole. And the ball still goes back into the launcher. Let's try that one more time. There you go. This is explained by separating the motion into horizontal and vertical components. When the ball leaves the launcher, it has the same horizontal velocity as the launcher. And as it undergoes the vertical motion up and down under gravitational acceleration, it continues to move at the same speed horizontally, so it ends back at the launcher. Now, I want to make this interesting by putting the launcher on an inclined plane. Watch what happens when we launch a ball while the launcher is at rest. That's what you would expect, the ball <laughs> lands outside of the launcher. Now, what do you think will happen if we let the cart roll down? I'd like you to pause for a bit here and make a prediction first. Would you have predicted that? Let's uh, try this again. This time with a bit shallower angle so that the cart has more time to roll down. I want you to think through this again while I get the track ready. Once again, let's test this by manually launching the ball with the launcher at rest. And the ball lands outside the launcher again. Now, give it another prediction. Where do you think the ball will land? Did you expect that? Let's give it just one more try. We are going to release the cart closer to the trigger so that it moves slower. So that's the demonstration. The challenge is, can you work this out analytically? It's an interesting challenge. The first time I saw it, it wasn't easy to answer. That's all. Bye.